Hello everyone. We will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and we are developing the reports using SAP ABAP new syntax. So, so far we developed two reports. In first report, we used for all entries in. In the second report, we used completely the join, inner join. And in the third report, we have the left outer join and we have for all entries in also. Now, what we need to do, we need to combine that data of these two internal tables into one final internal table. So how, how we will do that? If you remember in the first program, we combined that data of these three internal table into one final internal table. In our second program, you have the join completely. So in this internal table, you have the data of three tables. Now in this program, our data of two tables is into this internal table. Our data of one table is into this internal table. Now we need to combine that data of these two internal table into one single internal table. So firstly, what I will do, I will put a loop onto first internal table. Loop at. What is first internal table? LT underscore data. Int. I will go for inline data declaration and I will put the name of the work area. LWA data. You all know for every loop there is a end. Now we will come on to second internal table. Second internal table definitely blindly we can go for read table because you put both the keys material number as well as language. Whenever you are passing both the things, we are getting a single matching record. Whenever you have single matching record, you can go for read table and in SAP ABAP new syntax, rather than read table, we need to go for table expression. And you all know in table expression, we cannot check for size of RC. So to avoid the runtime error, we are always checking for line exist. So what I will do, I'll simply copy paste because anyways, we have already written the logic. So I will go for this if statement. If line exist. Now, rather than VBAP work area, now we have LWA data work area. Now, into this internal table, we are checking for matinar, which is coming into this work area. Now, okay, I saw, sorry, I forgot to take matinar because in this internal table, we will check the matinar. So matinar should be into this internal table. Oh, sorry, I forgot to put that. So now I, now I will go for end if. If the record is existing, if the line is existing, then we will pass the data to work area. So I will write data. Suppose LWA underscore MAKT means inline data declaration. Now I'm simply, simply copy pasting this. So from this internal table, we are passing that data to this particular work area. Now we will simply, simply your data of five column is into this work area. Your data of one column is into this work area. Can we pass it to final work area or can we append after that? Yes. So we will simply, simply go for passing that data to final work area and from work area, we append it to internal table. I'll simply copy paste. So this is our final work area. I will copy this because logic is same to say. Now, this is your final work area and we are using value operator. I'll change the names. Matinar. This is 
K W M E N G. Okay. Now this is your data. L W A data. This is your L W A data. Data. This is also data. Data of five columns. And sixth column is MAKTX. And you all know whenever you are using hash, you need to go for explicit data declaration. Otherwise, system will not understand. So I will declare a structure type. And I will declare the internal table and work area. This is our internal table and work area. Okay. Now your data is into this work area. Can we simply pass it to internal table? Append. Work area to internal table. What is internal table? LT underscore out. Now I will simply go for clearing the work area. So our data is into this particular internal table. Now we will simply go for field catalog. You all know in the previous video, we have we created the field catalog using value operator. So this is our field catalog. It is fully, fully explained in the previous videos. So I'm just reusing the logic. Now you all know whenever you are going for hash, you need to go for explicit data declaration. So I declare this. Now we will simply, simply go for calling the function module. What is our function module? Reuse ALB grid display. I will uncomment exporting. I will uncomment the field catalog parameter. This is your LT underscore field cat. And this is your LT underscore out. Best practices, you should always uncomment the exceptions. Now, these are your text symbols. Can I do the copy paste from the program? Yes, I did. Go to text elements. Go to text elements. Yes. Okay, it is already there. Yes. Okay, you can copy paste. I think when I practiced it, I copy pasted. So they are already available. You can copy paste into this new program. Now I will check the syntax. Okay, you all know in the new syntaxes, columns must be separated by com. Done. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I simply, simply combined the data of these two internal table into one final internal table. So for the first internal table, we put the loop. For the second internal table, yes, we use the table expression because we all know we have the single matching record. And we use line exist so that we can avoid the runtime error. And we appended that data to final internal table. We created the field catalog using the value expression. And we called the function module to bind that data with this particular field catalog. Or we can say to display the output in the form of ALB grid. In the next video, we will go for debugging. We'll understand each and everything in that debugging mode. So if some confusion is there, it will be automatically cleared. How we are getting the result? Are we getting all the sales order number or not? how this loop is working. Do we need to go for further changes? Yes, because debugging is powerful too. Without debugging, nothing, because requirement always varies. 
So you should always, always focus on how you are clearing your basics. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.